Uh, all right, welcome to this introduction of Project Greylight. And it is an intuitive multi-shot toolkit for Solaris. And uh, it is a collaboration between myself and SideFX. And we wanted to see if we could make life a little bit easier when you're dealing with sort of multiple uh, shots uh, at once and different departments, exports and uh, versions and uh, all of these USD specific things as well. And um, it is meant as a sort of inspirational uh, tech demo, uh, but also something that can be played around with and used, uh, uh, sort of aimed towards uh, sort of students or small teams and individual artists, and also curious studios that may not have dipped their toes in uh, in Solaris just yet, uh, but they they want to try it. But maybe they don't have uh, uh, a pipeline or, or content management system set up and stuff like that. And this might be a good way to <laughs> to try it out. So uh, this is going to be a, a series of videos. Uh, they're going to be pretty short, and every video is going to have a bunch of uh, interesting nuggets of information in each one, uh, where we're going to uh, walk you through the the setup and a, a demo project. But first of all, who am I? So my name is Andreas Weidman, and uh, I'm from Sweden. I've been making pretty pictures for about 20 years. Um, I have 10 years in, in VFX and five of those as a VFX supervisor and I was a Solaris enthusiast and developer. And um, so let's talk about Solaris. Uh, Solaris is about five years old or six years old or something like that. And uh, it was, um, uh, the idea was that it was meant to be uh, Houdini's um, lighting context where you work with multiple shots and stuff. It's also called LOPS, uh, lighting operations. And uh, it was sort of gonna be, um, it was meant to be Houdini's answer to uh, Katana, for instance, or Gaffer. Uh, really meant to, to, to work on multiple shots at once and, and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's still pretty young and yeah, it is very technical and, uh, and it can be a, a little bit daunting to get into. Um, and a lot of that is due to uh, USD. <laughs> so what is USD? USD was made by Pixar. Uh, they wanted to uh, create a universal uh, scene description uh, file format that would just work anywhere and could contain anything. And so in, in, in essentially it's a file format uh, similar to Alembic, but the big difference from Alembic is that um, a USD file can also contain links to other files and uh, a bunch more things, uh, textures and, and cameras and, and stuff like that. And so with USD, Pixar also was like, hey, I think we should have like a bunch of rules on how to use this to make it as efficient as possible. And so these rules uh, they came up with was all in the effort to make the most efficient uh, file format and workflow as possible and the safest sort of workflows. And a lot of it sort of makes sense when you look at like Pixar with, you know, a thousand artists um, and it's, it's <laughs> maybe harder to work with when you're not that big and, and don't need that kind of lockdown essentially. So what is the connection between Solaris and USD? Well, uh, Solaris is one of those softwares that we're like, okay, we're going to work with USD uh, primarily. And so we're going to abide by these rules that has been set up and uh, they, uh, had to adhere to these rules. Uh, now Houdini has, you know, been kind enough to to create some workarounds and stuff like that behind these uh, sort of strict rules of, of USD. But uh, in essence, um, it is bound by USD. And in fact, everything in Solaris is USD. Uh, if you would uh, import an Alembic file into Solaris uh, and export it again, you would get a USD file with a link to the Alembic file. And so it converts everything to USD on the fly, essentially. Now this. Uh, project, Project Greylight, uh, is going to have uh, very much a VFX uh, focus. Uh, I'm sure a lot of it spills over to other things, uh, but this is going to be uh, primarily uh, for VFX purposes. All right, so let's jump in.